Well, hello, Aquarius. When I was meditating in your energy, I heard seeing clearly. And then spiritual growth. This is, it's like all of a sudden you're ascending. There's a download. You're, you're going through a portal. There's ascension vibes here. You're inspired. It's like you're also weighing your options. It's like, is this real or is this not? Or you're doing a lot of things at once. You're juggling something. You're juggling ideas. You're juggling many things. Your emotions, relationships. Working together with others. Working together with spirit. Feeling called. Listening to your intuition with the spiritual growth. Whoa. The moon. This is about psychic insights. This is um, Pisces energy, Cancer energy. This is when um, you could feel like howling at the moon. This is reminding me of balance. You could feel like you're in the dark. And this is saying to follow um, follow your path. You know your way. You know your intuition. To keep a hard shell on. To come up out of the depths of your emotions and realize the truth. If you're feeling fear, it's the um, fear is just an illusion uh, appearing real. And move forward in confidence. Be bold. Um, be brave. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups here. That's cool. This is a wish come true. This is saying to make a wish. Um, on your path as you follow your intuition, a wish comes true. As you move through these hard times, this choppy water... Um, you're making a choice to listen to your guides, to your angels. No longer, it says, don't close your heart off. Not making a decision is a decision. This is, be open to the guidance that you're receiving. Yes, you might feel like you're in the dark. Here, here's the moon. Some of you, it's time for a moon bath. Get yourself a good moon bath. Bathe in the moonlight. Soak it up. Open that heart chakra. Feel the energy of your heart go into your head. Take it all the way up. Take your base energy, take it all the way up. Underneath that moonlight, let all that intuitive insight just come in, just bathe in it. Nine of Pentacles. Saying you have everything that you need to move forward with the fool. And then the um, knight of wands. Lay down the burdens of the mind. Lay down the burdens of doing too much and not asking for, for help. Make sure you're, you're asking for help and you're not, giving, you're not putting too much on yourself. Energetically, mentally, physically... It starts with mentally thinking that you have to do it all. This doesn't have to be you. This could be someone around you. The energy doesn't always have to be you. I could be picking up on someone around you. Or this could be way in the future. Or this reading just may not be for you. And that's okay. Don't take it personal. <laughs> Emperor energy. This is about being in your power, moving forward. With your shield on, you're always ready for war. You're ready for whatever comes your way is what I'm feeling with that moon card and that lobster. It's like they've got that hard shell. Moving through this dark period of time, through these dark emotions, and just knowing that spirit has got your back. Spirit has got you. For some of you, this is romance. And this could just be romancing yourself. 
with truth and integrity. <clears throat> or it's about clearing your throat and talking about what you really need and want from this relationship. Being truthful about it. Excuse me. Not taking on the burden of everything. Also, not giving up. This is a wounded warrior. You could have had a fight. I got a Facebook message. Sorry about that. Um, I guess I turned my notifications on. Maybe you should turn your notifications on. <laughs> Maybe something's going to surprise you. And um, this is, again, it's like you have your walls up. You've got your shield up. You're shielded. Your armor, these wands are, are shielding him because he's been wounded. On oh, love. Some of you don't want to take a chance in love because you've been hurt before. And you're growing spiritually and you know you deserve more. Your boundaries have been crossed many, many times. And you're on this new path for yourself. This higher learning, this in your power, emperor energy. Queen of wands, looking great, feeling great, feeling powerful, magical, manifester that you are. And romance comes knocking on your door. And if it's not romance, it's something that you love. But you've got your guard up, like, is this too good to be true? Spirit is saying, take it one step at a time in the, in the darkness of it. When you don't know, just keep moving forward. Because if you stop in hell, then you're just going to stay in hell. You just keep going through until you get the, to the other side. Some of you have been single for a long time. There could be some kind of commitment coming in. New partnerships. That you'll love. That's why the romance card's here. It's like you two are a really good pair. This could be work that you love. Five of Pentacles. This is... Um, <clears throat> with the star, the two of pinnacles, the ten of wands, the fool, and the ten of swords. With the five of pinnacles and the eight of swords. Some of you feel trapped by your finances and you're wondering how you're going to go move forward and it feels like a heavy burden. This new beginning, how's anything going to change? And the star card with the high priestess, the seven of cups, there's a lot of options here. Your intuition's going to give you a lot of options. Or it's saying to focus on what you truly, what do you want? For some of you, you don't know. You're like, you go back and forth. Like, what do I really want? For some of you, you really want love, partnership. See how he's looking at these lovers. And then, look, to me, the king and queen of swords, yes, they're divine counterpart, but if this is about work, this is a really great professional partnership. With the ace of swords, wow, that is amazing. That's two people who are brilliant, practical, 
above the, the BS. Together they conquer and create uh, the life they want. A life full of knowledge, learning. They learn together, they grow together. They have a colder relationship. It's not a lovey-dovey kind of relationship. It can be, but it's more a relationship built on intellectualism. It's a big word. But here we go, Ten of Pentacles with these. And I could start out small with just the Page of Pentacles and attraction with the Knight of Wands. Taking the action, following your heart with the Knight of Cups. Really figuring out what it is that you want. This is having the clarity about what you want and overcoming any obstacles in the way. See how their heads are above the clouds? She's summoning the future. She says, I'm present, I'm powerful, and I can create anything I want. I have the willpower. Um, if you're at war with something, boy, she she's she will she she can battle. She's a battle of wits. If you're dealing with like um, law or anything, this is this looks really really good. Money coming in, inheritance. This could be a divorce. Because these couples, they're usually divorced. It's often said that they're divorced. Because they're so cold together. Alright, so I'm going to move to the extended to go further into this. Um, two of fire, you're, you've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So whatever this is with the page of fire, news of an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and ingenuity. And you're definitely, definitely going to come out on top. With the star, follow your intuition.